Greetings folks, this is going to be a quick and dirty video about using GyroFlow with the Runcam thumb. I wasn't going to do a video on this subject because there are plenty of videos already out there, but uh, someone said that the Runcam thumb will be the first GyroFlow camera that a lot of people will be using and a, and a nice simple introduction would be useful. Uh, this is the first time pretty much I've used GyroFlow. I've only actually done one stabilization video, but it is pretty easy to use. First thing, you have to make sure you have the latest version of GyroFlow. This is uh, Release Candidate 5, version 100. Uh, links in the description to the downloads. And the uh, Runcam thumb, you're going to need to have the latest firmware for the Runcam thumb as well, which uh, gives you the correct gyro file to enable the stabil stabilization. So, Let's go, uh, and I'll put a link to the firmware download for the uh, Runcam thumb as well. So here's the gyro flow screen. First of all, we've got uh, the video file here. We open the video file here. Then we have a lens profile here, and we just search for Runcam thumb to get the correct lens profile. If you want to get rid of all the fisheye distortion, you don't have to. I don't mind the fisheye actually. Uh, it, if you do get rid of all the fisheye distortion, it just introduces a different sort of stretching distortion in the corners. So choose what you want. And uh, finally, the motion data here, which uh, gets produced every time you record a video on the Runcam thumb. So this is the um, files produced by the Runcam thumb. You'll get the uh, MP3 video file there. You'll also get this gyro output file, the GCSV file. This is where we get the stabilization information. So we will, uh, first of all, import the video file. Here's the video file. We'll open that one. Now we'll go for the lens profile. We just type in uh, thumb there and we will find the run cam thumb there. Open the lens profile and the motion data will open that file this gcsv file that has the same number as the relevant video file so that's all open uh, you can see it gives the trace along here on the bottom now something is rec uh, else that's recommended is to scroll down here uh, low pass filter change that to 43 this is just what runcam told me to do 43 hertz there. Then we do an auto sync and it will try and match up the uh, perceived picture motion to the uh, gyro file motion. It's got found three good matches there. You can choose different, different amounts of stabilization. You can uh, increase or decrease the field of view, uh, which as you can see, you'll see uh, the distortion that's happening to get rid of the fisheye distortion. Um, you can play with that if you want. You can zoom in a bit further if you find during the stabilization the uh, black sections are coming into the frame. Leave it as uh, what they suggest. Smoothness. You can play with these things yourself. I haven't actually uh, played with them much. Lock horizon, rolling shutter compensation, correction, um, and it tells you the output size and the bit rate. And let's just go and export that and see what happens takes on my computer about twice the uh, clip length in time to do the exporting. So uh, I'll cut this bit out and we'll come back to it later on. One little thing to be aware of, uh, make sure this stabilization part here is set to default. You can easily click no smoothing and that will give you no stabilization in your uh, export video. Initially I had the zooming set to no zooming uh, and you can occasionally get the edges of the, of the frame showing in the screen. You can go to dynamic zooming and it will zoom in and out to prevent that. You can also choose a static zoom if you know where you want to be zoomed at. Uh, and also down in the advanced section here, you can choose how that those little bits of background are treated. Uh, at the moment it's a solid color and that's black. You can change the color if you want to. Or you can tell it to repeat the edge pixels or mirror the edge pixels. Uh, and that just sort of disguises the, the little bits of the frame creeping in at the edge. 
one thing to note is that this is only a 1080p camera, uh, so any zooming in reduces down from 1080p basically resolution, so uh, you don't want to zoom too much, otherwise you'll be losing sharpness and resolution. Now if you do try and do the stabilisation uh, and export without the Runcam thumb profile selected here, it'll keep giving you warnings, but you just click uh, no on the warnings and, and you actually will get an exported file without the lens correction which may be appropriate in some cases. Uh, I'll just show you some of the results anyway. So so this is the default stabilization settings. You can see the nose of the Bixler are moving around all over the place showing you what the uh, stabilization is doing. You saw a little bit of the edge sort of pop into view there. Uh, we'll see a little bit more soon. There it is up the top. So you may be happy with that, or you may want to choose dynamic zooming or, or mirrored pixels or whatever you want to do. You just try it and see what you're happy with. Now this is without the lens profile, and you can see that it's a, a rectangular frame. It hasn't sort of just stretched the video out. You're still getting the nice wide view with a, a fisheye distortion, I suppose. I've zoomed out a little bit just to show the frame moving around to show what the stabilization is doing. It's working really, really hard, isn't it? This is an example with uh, no lens profile, so it's the, the square frame, but with dynamic zooming, and it, it, it zooms in quite a lot. Um, but you can see nose of the Bixler are moving around like crazy, but we're not getting any edge coming into the frame. Uh, but it does zoom in a fair bit. And this is with the lens profile, so it's all corrected. Uh, sort of a rectilinear dis distortion or no distortion and dynamic zooming, so we're not getting the, uh, the black edge of the frame coming into view. So this is probably the, the default setting I would use. So anyway, you can have a play with it. That's the basics of how to get going. Make sure you have the latest firmware on the Runcam thumb and the latest version of GyroFlow and use 43 hertz as the low pass filter and you should be good to go. Thanks for watching.